Hello everyone, I am going to make a presentation on introduction to safety instrumented system. SIS, this topic will be on definition of LOPA, layer of protection analysis. In the video is being taken on behalf of instrumentationtools.com and automationcommunity.com. Kindly subscribe to the channel. LOPA concept. LOPA is a process of evaluating the effectiveness of independent protection layers in reducing the likelihood or severity of an undesirable event. LOPA is used to evaluate high consequence scenarios determining if the combination of probability of occurrence and severity of consequences meets company's risk tolerance. Each company will be having a risk tolerance upon which hazards has to be worked out and then the LOPA has to be studied and the desirable factors independent layers of protection has to be built into the facility. LOPA is most commonly used effective semi-quantitative technique. By such quantification of risk, we arrive at required LOPA target factor. We will see this in the below slides. LOPA definition. LOPA document defines what are the high risk scenarios in the plant. What are the protection layers considered in each scenario to bring down the risk of an acceptable risk to an acceptable level? When the plants are built, especially the plants handling the hydrocarbons, oil and gas, heavy chemicals and various chemicals, toxic chemicals, they are prone to hazards. As the plants grow older, the chances of hazard is getting increased. So the LOPA study and there will be one more uh, study known as hazard, hazardous operability. These will be required to be done to build the required protection layers. LOPA takes into account more factors than most qualitative technique. Hence, this is widely preferred by many plants and organizations. LOPA is a good document for training and awareness about the process hazards of each plant. Risk is quantified by impact of people, business target factor based on value of loss and chemical specific target factor. Chemical specific safety target factor. These are the three parameters which is used to identify and quantify the risk. And when we are studying about the LOPA, we need to understand one more acronym known as ALERP. ALERP stands for as low as reasonably practicable. A LOPA technique can be put into place by companies who are striving to achieve a specific target factor or to lower risk as low as reasonably practicable. The triangle here represents the decreasing risk and the diminishing proportional benefit as risk is reduced. The ALERP principle can be used to define two sets of risk tolerance criteria, a minimum requirement and a target value. The companies cannot go on spending millions of dollars to build the safety requirements and build many layers to get out the hazards. Hazard is inevitable, but the company need to make a balance between the process with respect to the uh, minimum requirements, safety requirements, and they need to achieve a target value to make it into a tolerable level. Between the two sets of criteria, the range of risk is tolerable. ALERP guide has been produced to explain the concept of reasonably practicable in a simple way by HSA Health Safety Environment uh, Committee in, by the United Kingdom. If you see in this triangle, the risk is increasing as I told earlier when the plants are getting older the chances of risk is getting high because of the maintainability because of the spare parts availability 
mm. and uh, for the plant with a 20 25 years old the identical spares which are uh, used from the beginning of the plant may not be available for example the plants built in 1970s 80s those instrument and spares which were used in those days may not be available and it is not practically possible to upgrade the complete plant by spending millions of dollars so the companies will be very conservative to invest the required quantity of money to achieve the safety in a economic way this we all know the companies normally used to make the study and then arrive at as low as reasonably practicable cost so here we are seeing in this triangle the risk is uh, keep on increasing as a plant goes older so when we want to achieve the tolerable zone which is a green zone over here this is the ideal levels of risk risks are negligible or so small that they can be managed by a routine procedures and no additional risk treatment measures are needed this is the most preferred zone and hence it is known as tolerable and next one is as low as reasonably practicable a level of risk that is tolerable and cannot be reduced further without expenditure of cost disproportionate to the benefit gain or where the solution is impractical to implement so this is an ideal zone uh, actually the risk can be reduced with spending the money as per the requirement intolerable levels of risk adverse risks are intolerable whatever the benefit and risk mitigation measures are essential at any cost if activity is to continue some cases the risk is very high tolerable because for example we are using the fuel gas fuel oil i uh, toxic chemicals in a plant so um, just to overcome uh, the risk we cannot make parallel lines of uh, gas to a facility so building a pipeline of very huge size will incur very high cost in case of any emergency or any requirement to shut down one line and use the other line it is practically not possible and uh, it will be incurring very heavy cost so if you see on the other part of the uh, triangle see when we are from the intolerable level to most tolerable level if you are going to e reach we are going to spend money the cost is get, gets on increasing when you are going to uh, do this exercise and do the build the plants to achieve the practically tolerable limit so Uh, companies uh, need to strike a balance between the intolerable zone and the tolerable zone which is known as as low as reasonably practicable so uh, this is a part of study of the lopa technique and people need to understand about this one okay how this lay lopa workbook looks like this is the uh, real workbook from lopa here the protection gap will be listed over here and the target factor should be listed over here and this is the scenario definition here it is giving the scenario number and the next part next column it's a description description of undesired consequences so this tells what can happen see for example in this uh, in this slide example it's a reactor vessel failure due to polyol decomposition reaction this is one of the scenario which is causing the uh, risk okay how do we mitigate this risk uh, and uh, arrive at the safe factor so we have to arrive at a low power target factor of 6 this is the desirable limit uh, which we will discuss in the forthcoming presentation so uh, and initiating event factor so which initiates this kind of risk actually very little catalyst present due to acid leaking into a reactor and neutralizing catalyst this is a uh, kind of a risk 
how uh, it can happen how this hazard can happen so and enabling factor this is sometime it is compared with some other factor which enables the risk and probability of exposure that thing how long the people will be exposed to that facility and all will be listed over here and this is the scenarios and in the right side of the columns there will be different uh, layers like uh, bpcs uh, control layer operation layer and um, uh, sys mitigation layer and then further mechanical devices pressure relief valves etc how it is going to act each item each uh, protection layer is going to act and mitigate the uh, as it happen from happening so finally uh, we allow to arrive at the target factor when there is a gap between uh, the target and the protection required protection gap there will be a requirement of building some additional instrumentation some additional mechanical protection so this things need to be understood so uh, we have to go through the detailed study of both uh, layer protection analysis and the mathematic mathematical modeling to arrive at that required protection so layers of protection we have we'll have just quick bite with this uh, slide lopa can be quickly and easily understood with the swiss cheese model per pillow diagram if you see on the other uh, similar to the earlier uh, slide uh, there has to be many independent layers of protection so as the plant grows older and older the chances of hazards getting increased day by day and it is part of that uh, longer uh, duration of the plant when the plant facility is being built even the new facility is being built the um, as of study has to be undertaken after the process p and ready is frozen the as of study has to be uh, during the process p and ready uh, um, uh, study as up has to be taken up and lopa has to be worked out to identify the type of uh, safety instrumented system that has to be uh, installed for the facility and type of the protections need to be included in the design so which will give us a clear picture of different layers required to prevent in case of any hazard is happening for the particular facility there may be multiple scenarios available and each scenario can contribute to um, different kind of preventive methods to prevent the uh, hazard happening so we need to understand all those things which require a detailed training and understanding so now we went through a basic concept of lopa to understand the basic requirement and then uh, this can be used in our further presentations thank you